Hi, today we will see how to compile and debug C++ ROS nodes using Qt Creator, which will increase your productivity a lot in comparison to using only the terminal. So the first step will be obviously installing a Qt Creator, but I will show you uh, how to install a more recent version than the default that comes with Ubuntu's uh, official repositories. Then we will see what happens when you run Catkin build so we get the insight of where are the themake build uh, files then we will learn how to launch the Qt creator uh, environment itself using the correct environment variables which is the key for allowing all the ROS tools to work and then we will see how to compile and launch the node in debug mode so let's start with the installation if you install Qt Creator from the official repositories, you may have a, a quite old version of Qt Creator. And I strongly recommend, instead of using these official packages, which you will see, in Ubuntu Bionic you have 4.5, in uh, Ubuntu Focal you have 4.11, if you instead go to Qt.io, uh, you can install the offline installers. You must click here in Qt Creator Downloads and you can grab the version for Linux 64 bit. And you have just to uncompress this into your home directory, wherever. So I will show you what you have after installation you have a directory like this okay in your home for example Qt 5.14 is the latest version right now and inside this directory you have a, a tools tools Qt creator bin okay and here you have the actual executable for Qt creator now this version, this program requires some environment variables, so it is recommended to launch by means of this shell script. Now instead of writing, so you will have to do something like this. Uh, write the path to Qt Creator Tools, Qt Creator Binary Qt Shell. Okay, here we go. But this is a long. Uh, Command. So I recommend you to create, this is up to you obviously, to create a, a symbolic, symbolic link inside the user local bin, for example, or in, in your home directory, dot local, whatever you want. So for example, this is mine, this is a symbolic link, which is called Qt Creator and points to the correct place. So from wherever I, I am, I can write Qt Creator dot shell and it opens up the, the, the program. Okay, great, we have the program. Now, next step is to have some catkin package, some ROS node that we want to, to work with. So let's start creating a catkin workspace. I will create an empty one from scratch so you can see the process. You can check all the documentation about this in, in ROS documentation. I just want to create a directory, whatever, which is, can be named what, whatever you want, but the, like the, the most common name is Catkin Workspace. Inside, you must create one directory, which is called source, and then you must write catkin init workspace. Now, I don't have this command. Why? Because this command belongs to the installation of ROS which lives here in dash opt ROS blah blah blah. Okay? And to enable all these uh, programs from ROS, you must run a setup.bash script. Uh, some people include that call into the your home directory dash uh, dot bash rc but i prefer using something like this I, I create an alias an alias this is defined inside the the dot bash rc file 
and the name can be whatever you want, ROS1, ROS2, depend on the platform you're working on, and this command sources this file. This actually enables all the commands and environment vari uh, variables of ROS. So now if I type ROS1 environment, now I do have the command catkin init workspace, which basically actually just creates these symbolic links. Now, why I don't recommend including this into, the, into your uh, initialization script from the bash? Because it's recommended to, to include this uh, source file only when you are uh, compiling. But when you want to run your application, you actually have to, to source a different setup bash, which is in will be generated, we will see that in a moment, inside your, your Catkin workspace directory. So that's why I don't want to always source this file automatically. Now, you can see that I have the Catkin workspace, which is empty. I don't have any, any node here, so I will just create... I have prepared one example here. Okay, I have a node here that I want to compile. And now I just invoke catkin the usual way from the terminal. Okay, catkin build. So as you know, this creates a bunch of directories, and oh, I have a compilation error here somewhere. So what is the the usual procedure to fix a compilation error here? You will see the error from the terminal. You have to go in your favorite editor and fix it. Okay. Now, instead of looking for the errors here in the terminal, I will show you how to use Qt Creator for this, right? Now, a little bit about the, the structure of this directory. So you can see I have the... I only created the source directory, and Catkin has automatically created the rest. It has created the build, devil, and logs. In logs, you have the error logs. In devil, is where it has created the setup dot bash file that I will have to source later if I want to run the, the program. Source devil setup bash. Okay, this is the correct uh, command to execute to, to run the, the the new node. So ROS knows about the existence of my, my nodes, but I will not run this for now later. So inside the the build directory there is something that I want to show you. Three, three, level three. Okay, here. So what is inside? You can see you have the build, and there is one directory, one internal. This is an internal directory, and then you will have one directory under build for each package. And here, basically, what you have is the CMake build directory. So I can go straight into. I can jump into build and the package I want to, to compile, the one that is giving me problems, and you will see that I have here a make file. This is the make file that CMake has generated. So I can just invoke make by myself. I don't need I don't need catkin at this point. And I have exactly the same compilation error, the same compilation uh, profile. So now I want to fix the problem using Qt Creator. I need to launch Qt Creator. But if I launch Qt Creator from uh, an independent terminal, let's try that just to see what is happening. Then I need to open a file or project. I will open. So when you open, I will repeat this. Open file or project, okay? You have to select the CMake list dot txt of your package. So you have to go to this to the source directory, source, post, cov, or you can also open all the packages, but I recommend using one by one. Post and CMake list txt. Okay. And then you will be presented with a, a, a directory like this. This is a, the setup for what build directories and what configurations do you want to use in CMake. 
you can leave these as they are actually but let's do something different uh, let's try to run in the bag into this directory catkin build pose so i have selected the directory that catkin has automatically created for my package and i want Qt creator to use that as the debug uh, compilation directory you can normally you could use release or debug depending on of, on whether you want to actually run the step-by-step -step debugger so configure and i will have an error probably okay i have errors why because uh, cmake cannot find catkin you can see here catkin it didn't find catkin Okay, the reason is that I launched Qt Creator from another terminal or from the, like the launcher, okay? If you cannot do that. You must launch Qt Creator from the same terminal where you invoke it the ROS environment variables. So here you have all the environment variables for ROS. If you launch Qt Creator from here, it will inherit all of them and then when it tries to run CMake, it worked. it you can see now it worked. it CMake project was passed successfully right so we have the the target here and i can now build the node just by let me check if i have the debug selected actually CMake build type it is actually empty so it is it will compile in release mode by default. I will write here debug. Just for debugging, it will be it will run much slower, so only use debug for doing a real debugging. Apply configuration. It is generating this again. Okay, perfect. And now I can compile everything. Compile. I can see now the errors that I found previously. But now it is much easier to to fix because i have this nice gui here the graphical interface where i can see all the errors and everything so i can just click on the error and the error is this pose is not known here okay it is a typo you can use all the nice autocompletion code like this pose you can use all this uh, autocompletion so this is a, a great tool. Now I can compile this again uh, here or with Ctrl V. Okay, and now it is compiling. Now, if you want to run the 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 node, actually, you have to go here into the project build, and then you can you must select here all. And in run, you must select the project that you want to uh, to run. In this case, there is a unit test because there is not a real node in this example. But you can must select this, run in terminal if you want to see a separate detached terminal and the command command line arguments, for example, to select to to pass some rows parameters to the node in the in the case that you need it. Normally, you will need to write here. A lot of parameters for for the ROS node, and then you must start the node with uh, the bar here. Start debugging, and then you can put breakpoints, whatever you want. Just use uh, you can look for documentation on Qt Creator for that. So I hope you you enjoyed the the video.